Hello everyone, I'm Matthew, and in today's episode of my Digital Forensics in Android series, we're going to be going under the camera and analyzing media data in Android. So this is going to very much, very well be your all access pass to finding and analyzing this type of data in Android. So now let's get into this. So today's goals are to tell about what type of media that we can find on Android, to tell you about where to find them, and how to analyze these artifacts. Now, fun fact, like I said in a previous video, back in the day, Android was originally going to be a camera operating system. But cameras were, at that time, an ultra-competitive market, and... The Android team eventually saw that phones from phones with operating systems like Palm OS and Symbian were not very competitive. So to make a mobile phone would be a better idea because it would future-proof them and give them a lot of room for technical advancement. And as we've seen throughout the years with just the Android operating system itself, this has been one of the biggest things for them. Because even ever since the beginning, the, even the user, the user facing user interface side has changed quite a bit. So let's see, Android. So, for instance, like, up to, at a certain point, up to, like, KitKat, Android looked like this, and was running on things with, like, less than a gigabyte of RAM. So then, when we get into Android Lollipop, which was the next version after that, Lollipop became material design, and this was the first Android that I got to using on my first phone back in 20... I think 2015 it was. So it had Android Lollipop on it. And I thought it was very cool to have Lollipop. And then from Marshmallow to... To Nougat... From Marshmallow to Nougat is what I had on the phones after that. And then I skipped Oreo and Pi, which was the next two years. So Pi was 10 and then 11. I think I got the OnePlus 8T when it was on Android 11. So that takes us to Android 11 screenshots now. And so we can see with Android 11 screenshots that it becomes a lot more modern. It becomes a lot more modern with either the pill-shaped or the apple bar shape kind of thing at the bottom. And that's kind of what it looks like now, as as you can see. Whenever you look, like, look at any other Android phone, it either has the touch buttons on the bottom and all that stuff like that. And they run a lot faster with a lot more headway in terms of rooms of room of RAM to deal with. So that just brings me back to the point here. Moving Android from a camera OS to a mobile phone OS made gave them lots and lots of room for future proofing and technical advancement. 
I'm partnering with Qualcomm for their Snapdragon chips, and at some point in the future, MediaTek for their chips. Also gave Android lots of good platforms to run on throughout the years. Now, where where can media be present? So media can be present in the pictures folder, in the videos folder, in documents folder, oh, your pictures, videos, documents, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Such as live photos, audio files, and many other things can be present on an Android phone. And now today, unlike other days, I will show you how you can find this on your own on your own phone without having to take stuff off. So you can find media files in these places in something that got taken off the phone. So your data folder slash media slash zero slash DCM slash camera and data data com android providers dot android dot providers dot media slash databases slash external and then you can find bluetooth data at media zero bluetooth you can find downloads at media zero download you can find screenshots in pictures slash screenshots and twitter's twitter pictures from their media zero pictures twitter Okay, we'll come back to this a little bit later after I give you my example of, of this. So, if I can plug this into my computer, Plug my cable into the computer and plug it into the phone. And so one thing that you can do right now is you may pause the video right here. If you're watching it and grab your phone and grab the cable and plug your stuff into the computer. And if you haven't gone into this before, if you haven't plugged your phone into a computer before, this will be a great learning experience for you. But since I've done this many times, I can tell you about some of the ways that they store. So if I go to into my OnePlus 8T, so you can see it, it's essentially a basic Unix based system right here with all the folders. So you can see our main folders like documents, download, or in some cases it will be downloads. You can see the Android folder here. You can you can see pictures, podcasts, and other things. So yeah, I have some documents on mine right here that I won't go into. But so on yours, you'd probably see a picture folder you would yeah, you would double up with some pictures right here and then and then you could grab a bunch of screenshots from right here and also from the DCIM folder you can have your camera And some from other apps that store their pictures in DCIM instead of other thing, other things like that. And yeah, obviously podcasts. You have whatever music is on your phone right here. You can either organize it into folders. You can put music directly and organize it into folders, or just by a bunch of songs. But if you want album artwork. I think it will be best to put it into folders. 
and you also have ringtones here that can come from ringtone apps or ringtones that you make on your own. And now back to the image that we use mainly. So go into here and here and here to our favorite image. So you can see here DCM camera android com dot android dot providers dot media Okay Data It's under data com dot android dot providers Calendar contacts downloads. So you could see that we have providers, media providers, and we can we can look at databases here for internal pro, internal and external providers for media. Well, DB browser for SQLite. What am I doing? DB browser for SQLite. Okay. So you'll see if we drag this one in here. So if we look into media files, you can see directories here for media files. And we can see what's in these folders. And we can see, say that this one right here, this path right here is to folders. And maybe we could see this path right here with key is to com.google.android. So you can find things there, android.youtube. Yeah, this could be a great learning experience for you. So let me see. Um I'm going to open the database. Oh, so we're going to open the internal one next and see what's there. Live tutorial time. Data. Okay, we're in the image now data, so I said com.android.providers. Providers.calendar.media and databases and internal.db. Discard. I'll discard the changes to that album art.
So then in this case, this shows all of the media files. Yeah, it looks like it shows all of the media files, such as possibly songs, ringtones, notification sounds, and all of that stuff. Actually, I take that back. Just notification sounds. And maybe ringtones as well. So that's... That's pretty cool. So now let's open... Data Android Out Providers dot... How about downloads? What does the downloads do? So this download is... Talking about where files were downloaded to, and what types they were. So we can see that some images were downloaded as well as video, video and audio. As well as an application package about vending at some point. What did I do with that? Okay. And then for a third time, I'm looking for providers.downloads.media. Okay, so we looked at media external and internal. So I guess as some practice, you guys can choose to look at the screenshots on the image that I shared with you, as well as the downloads and the Twitter data, if there's any there. So th there are also some special media files, which I call iPhoto, which is essentially the same thing as an Apple iPhoto, but moving photos. So, moving photos are essentially just mp4 files, but in a fancy package. Yeah, that fancy package is a JPEG file. And you can see here in the picture on this slide that this MV, MV image whatever whatever dot jpeg file is a jpeg file itself but you can open it and it'll eventually give you something that's a video and i'll show you uh, i'll show you how to extract that next but first let's take a look at finding it so it's going to be data Data media zero DCM camera. Okay. <laughs> okay, data media zero DCM camera. So if I open it in the Photos app, first of all, on my computer. What will it do? Open with Photos. Let me open that again.
Okay, what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to take this over here and open the hex editor again and throw it into the hex editor because this is not working the way dot hxd hex editor Okay, so when we're looking into this file, it's going to be a very huge file, so the thing that you're going to have to do to find the video part of this is going to go down here to this line 0, 0, 03D0840, and you're going to originally select this, these four bits right here, 66, 74, 79, 70, which correlate to the bits before MP, MP42, which is going to be your file signature. And then you're going to type edit, edit, select block. And you're going to select all the way down to, all the way down to this right here. So it'll be, it'll end up being Edit select block. This here to this here, and then the length right here is going to be four bytes, and then you'll end up getting you'll end up getting this. You're gonna copy this and put it into a new file. Paste, insert it. And save that as I'm gonna put that under here into our Hexordia folder. And what you get that comes out should be something along the lines of this one. Okay, so what if I delete this line right here? Vid.mp4 again.
I still don't think I have to open that in VLC. Open with VLC Media Player. Okay, it didn't go right the way I wanted it to, but. Yeah, it should end up working right for you if you do it correctly, but... Yeah, there should be a video that looks like that one that I showed. And yeah, so if you're looking at any Android images and files start with MBIMG or MP, you have a moving photo. So then if you want to find media and autopsy, you can very easily go to the MIME types and find audio, image, message, multi-part text, and all that type of stuff. And maybe some data will also live in this deleted files part, which you can dig out. <laughs> Things that were deleted, if you find it there. and finding extra information in SQLite databases. So, in places like the provider's media place that I showed you earlier in the external databases, you can find some good information, such as what I said, in those stuff. And even in other databases, you can find you can find information about calls. You can find information about calls, and you can find information about the thumbnails of pictures that were on the phone, and a lot of other stuff that I know you'll enjoy finding. Okay, that's maps. Now with that out of the way, that will end this video for today. So in honor of the end of the video for today, I want to dish out an assignment for you guys. So for today's homework, I want you to do some extra research into where media files will live on Android and... I want you guys to actually go to those places and see what media data live is in those places. And once you do that, I want you to document that for future CTFs or other things that you may do with this data. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys also learned something. And thank you for watching. Have a great day. And if you want to see more about digital forensics, look at the cards to follow.